G'day everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you liked the busy bees in the gum tree blossoms. I think they're just so adorable and cute and they're going crazy for all the, the nectar and the flowers. It's Friday here in Australia and I've just come back home from our local food bank. So I have another food bank haul to share with you all. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to quickly say g'day to my new viewers over in Ohio in the US. Thanks so much for watching. And also to those of you watching in Nova Scotia up in Canada, thanks for joining me today. If you haven't let me know already in the comments, drop me a line and let me know where in the world you're watching from and what time of day it is even. I'm always so interested to find out. If you're new to my videos, um, we're a family of four. We live in Queensland, Australia. And on Fridays, we've been going to a food bank in our area. Uh, this is one that's run by a church and you pay $10 and they give you a box of groceries. And along with the grocery items, usually there's seasonal fruit and veggies. Um, most times there's a loaf of bread, things like some frozen or cold um, items as well. Uh, sometimes there's even things like eggs. I'll give you a closer look at what I picked up at the food bank this Friday. So this week we were fortunate enough to get a packet of spiral pasta, which is great. Uh, there was a one kilogram bag of long grain white rice, also very helpful. Uh, there was a few different snack items. There's a packet of barbecue original shapes. Oven baked, not fried. I think my kids might fight over that one. <laughs> There's only one of those. There's two of the bluey pizza flavoured snacks. These ones are good. I've been putting them in their school lunch boxes. Uh, there's also a big bag of the pop corners, which we actually got last week and I think the week before. These are really delicious. Yummy. So, yeah, the kids are like that as well. Uh, there was a few different canned items again. Uh, there was a can of spaghetti. Also a can of baked beans in tomato sauce. Some peeled crushed tomatoes. A can of corn kernels. It says perfect for burrito bowls, casseroles, soups and salads. So that'll be very handy to have. And I especially like it when I get cans of peas. I find peas are really useful. So a can of garden peas. So that was all the canned items. Uh, there was also two packets of the two minute noodles. These are chicken flavor, which is great. Oh, and to go with the pasta, there's a jar of the tomato and basil sauce, the barilla one. Uh, there was also a packet of cream of chicken uh, with crouton soup, uh, soup mix, like instant soup that you put in the mug and put the hot water on top. So that's great. Uh, this week we were very lucky to get some eggs. There's half a dozen eggs. And in the cereal department this week, we got a box of wheat bix so that's great. That'll go a long way. I find the wheat bix seems to go a bit further than some of that other granola cereal that we've been getting. It lasts a little bit longer and possibly keeps you a little bit fuller as well. There's two bottles of the almond milk I, I got as well. These are one litre ones. These are long life ones, so you don't need to put them in the fridge until you actually open them, which is handy. So two of those. Uh, there were some ready meals we got in the cold items. We got a crumb chicken meal. Let's see if I can give you a little look. So there's a piece of chicken, gravy, beans, and I think there's some mashed potato in the corner. So that's the crumb chicken one. Oh, there's a, a second one here too. It says crumb chicken meal, but I think this one must have been made in a a separate batch because it's got different sides to it. It's got a smaller piece of crumb chicken and some sort of gravy, but there's like a frozen 
half a piece of like um, tomato, I think it is, and some, well, we call it silver beet, or you might call it Swiss chard, I think it is on the side. So slightly different. So that's the other chicken meal. And there was also one of the potato gnocchi with pumpkin sauce, which is my favourite. And these are really good when you heat them up. So that was the three ready meals that I got. Uh, there is also hiding down here. This week I picked up a little bag of, this is instant coffee. They do have this available most weeks. I don't always get the coffee or the tea, depending on what I've got at home already. But this week I decided to pick up a little bag of coffee. I thought it'd be useful. So you probably won't get many cups out of it if you're a big coffee drinker. But it's all, always a help. Uh, there was two loaves of bread as well that we got this week. There was the Abbott's Bakery. This one's Seeds and Grain Loaf, which looks really great. And a loaf of just white sliced bread. So that'll be handy for toast, probably for breakfast, I think. And they did also give me, these ones have been frozen, a little bag with two fruit buns, I think they are. So they'll probably be good for afternoon tea, I think, for my kids when they come home from school. Uh, there was a selection of fruit and veggies included as well. There was some potatoes, five potatoes, uh, three carrots, I did get given a very nice avocado, which I was pleased to see. I love avocados. One avocado. Uh, there was four onions. And I also got, do you know what this green mystery vegetable is? Well, I suppose technically it's a fruit. <laughs> Grows on a vine. It's called, or we call it in Australia, we call it choco. So these ones... Uh, I actually, sometimes I even grow them in the garden, but this one I think might be homegrown and donated to the food bank from someone in the area. Uh, these ones, you can use them, I quite often steam them. Um, you peel the skin off, steam them. Um, you can eat them along with other green veggies with your dinner or you can add them to stir fries or soups and stews. You can even mix them in and bulk out like stewed apple with them as well. You can make even pies with them. So, yeah, a really, really cool one to get. And along with the choco, we did get some mandarins. There's three mandarins, uh, five apples. There's four little, I think they're all galas, and one of Granny Smith apple. And last but not least, some ladyfinger bananas, three nice ladyfinger bananas. So that was everything I got for $10 this Friday which I think is pretty good value. What do you reckon? Do you think I did okay? Let me know what you think. What would you do with some of the items I got? This is what I got. You could choose one loaf of bread. So I selected a tip top, the one, gluten-free smooth whole grain loaf. This one's been frozen, so I will hurry up and put it back in the freezer. And I also picked up a packet of wrappers, again frozen. Now these will be great because I did get, you might remember, last Thursday when I went to this same food bank, I picked up another one of those. So with the two packets of wrappers now, I should have enough to make an actual meal with them and I'll be able to use like leftover mints or beans or some sort of um, lentils, something to put in them, even some different vegetables I've got on hand and make them into little parcels or dim sims. So that'll be awesome to get those. Or it was awesome. <laughs> and last but not least, can we have a drum roll? <laughs> I think it's that good. I'm really excited about this one. A box of chocolate mug cake slices. It says hand finished. The perfect tea time treat topped with smooth chocolate icing and crunchy chocolate crisps. So there's four pieces in there and they look absolutely delectable.
totally delicious. So I was so excited um, to get that. You could pick one sweet treat off the table. So I didn't hesitate when I saw the chocolate mug cake. <laughs> I'm a big chocolate lover and my kids and husband are too. So that'll be lovely this afternoon for afternoon tea. So yeah, that was everything I got this Tuesday and it'll be very much appreciated. If you're also needing a helping hand, don't be shy to seek out a food bank or food pantry in your local area. There's links down below in my description box if you're needing a starting point. Thanks very much again everyone for watching and I hope you have a lovely weekend. Until next time, take care. Mm -hmm.